Hello students, my name is Professor Harshad Marathe and today we are going to discuss a subject named GIS. The topic which we are going to discuss today specifically is the first part which is introduction to GIS. As we know this subject is a part of the syllabus for TYBSC IT semester 6. Now, GIS is a short form or an acronym. The first thing which we need to know is what is the full form of GIS. I have written it down here. The term GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. The first term here is Geographic. By the term Geographic, it is indicated that we have to study the surface of the earth. Now, we have already studied geography in our school. Geography is the study of the surface of the earth and this can be studied in two ways. One is to study the entire globe or to study a limited region in the form of a flat map. Since we have already studied geography, somebody may ask what is the need to study geography again? This time, however, we have to study it as a system, which means we have to study geography in coordination with computers. When geography and computers combine, definitely there is a new term introduced here, which is information. Often in computers, we have heard these terms data and information. The subject could have been named Geographic Data Systems but specifically here it has been named Geographic Information Systems. Why information? In computers, data can refer to any fact or figure about any object in the world. Since there are so many facts and figures about so many objects, we do not have the time to study all of them exhaustively. Therefore, information refers only to that data which is processed, which is relevant and important for us in day-to-day -day lives. Therefore, in GIS, we will be studying geography from a few limited points of view which are of relevance to us in our day-to-day -day life. I will give examples of certain fields where GIS is applicable in day-to-day -day life. For example, the first and most common application of GIS is seen in the field of weather. Every day, we can see news reports giving us details about temperature, humidity, rainfall and many other weather conditions. All these weather conditions are recorded using satellites which are making use of GIS technology. Another field is GPS systems which we use commonly when we are traveling from one location to another. Most of us have already used some sort of a taxi booking application, cab booking application wherein the shortest route between a source and destination is specified. Another field in which GIS is commonly used is social media. For example, in Facebook, we can check into a particular location and that location is tracked using a satellite and this entire thing is done using GIS systems. There are many other fields and these will be discussed in great detail here at Vidyalankar. Thank you.